Hi, my name is Lusandi and I am a cancer survivor. Now, I help other children understand their medical journeys better. Today, I'll tell you about my 11-year-old friend Dineo, who's being treated for acute myeloid leukemia. Lusandi Medical Animation Studio, using teaching as a way to keep your worries at bay. Dineo has been feeling so tired for the last few weeks. Dr. Andiswa and Dr. Angela want to talk about Dineo's blood results. Dineo was first diagnosed when she was 8 years old. The doctors told her that her cancer was very strong. She had to get months of chemotherapy through a drip and even lost her hair. Luckily, most of us in the ward are bald at some point, so it wasn't so bad. And I promise, the hair really does grow back. <laughs> Sometimes, she had to get chemotherapy into her spine. This is done with a procedure called a lumbar puncture, or LP for short. The doctors always gave her something to make her sleep, so she didn't feel any pain. Once asleep, the chemotherapy was carefully injected into her spine to make sure the cancer didn't spread. The chemotherapy worked and killed all her cancer cells. Yay! She was in remission. Although Dineo did extremely well at first and has been cancer-free, unfortunately, the cancer is back. Dineo and her mom are shocked and very sad. Dineo has had a relapse. This means that stronger cancer cells have come back. These cells can't be treated in the same way and with the same drugs as before. We must fight them in another way. But there's hope! Dineo can get a bone marrow stem cell transplant. The bone marrow is the blood cell making factory of the body. Everyone has stem cells in their bone marrows. A stem cell makes all the different cells. Like red cells that carry oxygen, white cells that fight infection and platelets that prevent us from bleeding too much. A stem cell transplant is when a healthy person gives a portion of their stem cells to a person who needs them. Dineo's mum immediately says that she'll donate her stem cells to Dineo. But unfortunately, it's not always that simple. A person who donates their stem cells to another person must be a match for the patient. It's a big term called human leak, no, lyco, no, lympho, oh, never mind. Let's call it by the shorter name, an HLA match. Mothers and fathers give half of their genes to each child. So they are a 50% HLA match for each child they have together. Although it may sometimes be possible for parents to give their stem cells to their children, it will be better if the person is a full match. The first type of fully matched person, also called a donor because they donate their stem cells, is a brother or sister who has the same mother and father. Each sibling has a 25% chance of being a full match for the patient. If there are no siblings, the doctors, with help from other organizations, can look for a matched donor outside of the family. This can either be a person who lives in the country or someone who lives far away. This is called a matched unrelated donor or MUD for short because this person is not part of the patient's family. Dineo is an only child, meaning there are no siblings who could be a match. A donor search must be done to find a match inside or outside of the country. DKMS is an organization that helps patients find a match for transplant. Their helpful DKMS Africa team can find donors from many places in the world. 
there's no donor immediately available, a drive will be done in Dineo's community to try and find her a donor. The chance of a transplant is giving everyone hope. Dineo needs to stay in hospital to get further tests and start some chemo to prevent the strong cells from growing too fast. Dineo is excited to see some of her old friends and settles into the ward like old times. I'm always here to guide, always by your side. <laughs>